Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hi, my name is Kara Barrick Levy. This is part of the tutorial series on UniLogic, the application software for Unitronics Unistream control platform. Today's tutorial is HMI Languages. You use the HMI language settings to determine the language keyboard that opens when the user needs to enter data, and the display language that is shown in HMI elements. In this tutorial, you will learn how to localize text strings. I want to begin by showing you what happens at runtime. Here, the language is set to the default, English. The English keyboard opens for data entry. Okay, now I'm going to change the HMI language. I have selected Russian, and note that the watermark in the text box variable is in Russian, and it is the Russian keyboard that opens for data entry. Now let's look at the default language settings. The factory default is English. If I set the language to, for example, Spanish, the Spanish keyboard will open for all data entry purposes. Clicking on Add Languages displays the list of languages so that you can make your selection. Okay, Italian, Russian, and Spanish. Time to translate some strings. First, I will enter my default text. In this case, I'm using the factory default English. I'm going to add text for the watermark. Enter username. OK. There it is. The next step is to set the active language. This means, for example, that if I set the active language to Spanish, any strings I enter will be linked to the Spanish language. There we go. Now I can also change the active language via right-click menu. Okay, now I'm going to select Italian. This is basically the program for the VNC that we saw at the beginning of the tutorial. Okay, and finally, Russian. To enable the language to be switched at runtime, Use HMI Actions. Okay, I'm going to open the collection. Add a new action. Set language. In this application, the language will switch to Russian when the user touches the flag. That is really all there is to it. But I do want to remind you of one thing. Remember to translate the strings in your HMI collections. To do this, you of course set the active language, then open the collection, and finally, enter your texts. This concludes our tutorial on HMI languages. You can find more information and example applications on our website. Thank you for viewing, and we hope to see you again.